So start up Visual Basic 2010, click New Project, make sure it's a Windows Form application, and we will type CFG Generator. Now this will pop up. Okay, so let's type in CFG Generator for the title. Um, we will change the name of the form to CFGGen. And also you want to change the name of this to CFGGen. Okay, so now back to the properties. Let's change the default location to center screen. And the icon, you can choose any icon you want. I will choose an icon I made here, of COD. And then that's pretty much about it. So there's our window. So now let's change some property values. So let's first start from the top. The group box name will be lines. <clears throat> the text box, its name will be bind box. And actually, let me change one more thing on here. Change this to that. Anchor it so that when you move it, it moves with it. And then do the same thing for your text box. You will want top, let's see here, left and right, and top, I believe. Button. We will name this the color button, and text will be color. And then that's pretty anchored good. The label, the name of the label will be. This combo box name will be key box. We'll add values in a little bit. Uh, the label here will be preview. The button's name will be uh, preview. This button's name will be box. Oh, hang on a second. I forgot to change this anchor to right. And this anchor, unanchor the left and anchor the right. Well, actually no, anchor the left also. And this one anchor the right. Now when you move it, oops, hmm, okay, unanchor the left on that one. This one, unanchor the left, there we go. That's pretty good. Okay, the group box, this group box name will be 
navigation. This list box's name will be uh, color list, and the button will be select button. Okay, and that's uh, pretty much it for the design. Let me just change a few more uh, anchor points. Everything is done. So it looks almost good. Oh, oh what happened? Did it? Did you? Did it? Undo. Okay, did it? Did it? Okay, just have to size it again later. Let's make this one to the top. This one to the bottom. That's fine. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the design. Next, uh, next video we'll go over the coding, which I haven't fully finished yet, but I'm working on it. Uh, as as uh, I am giving you these tutorials, I'm creating this myself. So you have to bear with me. And that looks like a very nice design. So then just uh, save it. Oops. Save CFG generator. And you're done. We'll go over the code next.